Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds, and this is a special edition of your weekly update. We are in San Diego for the National Association of Realtors annual conference and expo. About 70 Connecticut realtors made the trip. The conference is NAR's annual governance conference and includes many committee meetings, board of directors, and a delegate body meeting. It also included education sessions, updates on federal issues, as well as general sessions with dynamic speakers, including former NFL quarterback Drew Brees and Olympic gymnast Simone Biles. 2022 CTR president Tammy Fellenstein says the conference includes something for everyone. We're spending our days in all day in meetings and seminars and in caucuses for the purpose of strategizing and sharing ideas and really gaining knowledge um, with the purpose of bringing it all back to our boards and our offices to help make everyone better. Many CT Realtors also attended meetings for the NAR committees that they serve on, playing a direct role in the decision-making process. 2022 CTR First Vice President Carl Lance says it's important to be involved on those national committees. I think it's important for all of us as Realtor members to share our expertise and be part of these committees so that we can see what changes are happening to NAR and to uh, our industry. The NAR Board of Directors' decisions included changes to MLS policy to authorize the public display of listing agent offers of compensation and requiring IDX displays to include the listing agency name and contact information. The board also amended a standard of practice to prohibit members from advertising their services as free unless the members will receive no compensation from any source for the services established policy statements on employee-employer standards and other tax and federal policy issues. The Professional Standards Committee established a case interpretation that considers the display of a Confederate flag in property advertising to be hate speech as part of the Realtor Code of Ethics policy. The delegate body voted to not dissolve itself and authorized several significant governance changes to the election and role of the RVP, the composition of the NAR Board of Directors, and the NAR Executive Committee, along with their respective authority and transparency. Get a full report at nar.realtor. One of the conference events honored the State Realtors of the Year from across the country. Connecticut's State Realtor of the Year, Joanne Breen, joined her counterparts for a special recognition from 2021 NAR President Charlie Appler. The conference also included some opportunities for realtors to get to know each other and have a little fun. NAR hosted a reception at Petco Park, the home of the San Diego Padres. Realtors got to hang out on the field for a night that included music, games, and food. CTR President Carol Christensen also invited all CT Realtor members in attendance to a special night out on the world's oldest active sailing ship. Carol says she's happy to see so many members taking the opportunity to attend the national conference. I just want to do something to appreciate, show appreciation to all of our members for all that they've done, especially those that have flown basically across the country to um, better their business and to help Connecticut with our issues. The week also included the installation of NAR's 2022 leadership team. Leslie Ruta smith will serve as 2022 NAR president. She says her focus for the year will be on safety, strength, and sustainability. Regional vice presidents also were inducted into their positions. Kimberly Allard from Massachusetts will serve as the Region 1 vice president. She says she looks forward to the year ahead. That's just a fabulous opportunity to work with everyone across the region. So I'm very excited to meet people that um, I haven't met before, um, meet new people, uh, people that might be considering leadership roles. But it's really to uh, get the work done for the National Association of Realtors and really make sure all of us here in New England are um, working together towards a common goal. That is your NAR Conference and Expo Weekly Update. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.